2022 was in many ways a turning point, both for the world and our ICS. As pandemic response turned to recovery, the prospect of a new direction has collided with the harsh realism of man-made and natural disaster with their destructive consequences for life and economic activity alike. Now more than ever, we need the trusted expertise and respected standards our ICS members embody. And I have been continuously impressed by the contribution they make every day to the well-being and advancement of communities around the world, as detailed in this report. Moreover, the growth in member-led and member-focused events has been hugely positive with thousands meeting online and in person to pool insight and build networks as a result of the work done by the Member Experience Engagement and Value Working Group. As always, RICS has focused on its mission of supporting and amplifying members' valuable work through its activity on their behalf, and this has seen great achievements in a number of areas. We've made good progress on standards adoption, achieving our target with 71 adoptions including the continued uptake of RICS's influential and data-led International Building Operations Standard. Our update to the Red Book to embed sustainability considerations into core valuation practice was another significant milestone. Alongside the new Whole Life Carbon Assessment Standard, this activity is enabling ongoing market confidence in the advice provided by RICS professionals around this ever more essential criterion for investment and project decisions. A particular highlight was the establishment of an index for tracking sentiment and progress on environmental practice in the profession via the sustainability report published around COP26 to accompany RICS's prominent convening efforts at the event in Glasgow. An increase in the proportion of women amongst new trainees candidates and apprentices, compared with last year, made for encouraging news for RICS's efforts to improve access and representation in the profession. We reached a significant agreement with five leading built environment membership bodies via a memorandum of understanding on improving equity, diversity and inclusion. We have since developed and begun implementing a 45-point action plan which will drive real accountability via an actionable programme for opening the opportunities of our sector to everyone who wants to play a role. We have worked rapidly to implement the recommendations of the Bichard Report, which has provided such a valuable and transformative counsel to help chart the future direction of the institution. Under Governing Council's direction and overseen by dedicated member-led steering groups, RICS staff have worked with absolute commitment to make the report's vision a reality focusing on providing high quality and value for money service to improve member experience and enhance the impact of their work. I am grateful for members' continued support and engagement as we work to deliver these significant changes. As highlighted in this report, RICS members are enabling the consistent, well-evidenced decision-making that will help deliver a better built environment for future generations. Together, our profession is a force for positive impact in the world and I look forward to continuing to work with you to make this impact as great as it can be. Music